guys, this is Cody Albright, Conservation Manager of Outdoor Adventure and Extreme Sports with you, coming at you again. Uh, we are out here again today at the Comey River Park Trail System, and uh, I wanted to do a quick video talking to you guys about trail etiquette. Uh, we have a lot of people utilizing the trail systems at this time, and one of the best things is that we can be respectful of one another, and uh, a lot of that comes down to etiquette. Right up. Yeah. So at Hooper Road Park and Comey River Park, which are multi-use trails that have a preference for mountain biking, uh, the right-of-way on these trails always goes to the bikers first. So if you're a hiker, uh, moving on the trails, enjoying yourself, you want to make sure that if you see a biker coming towards you, go ahead and stop and step off to the right of the trail uh, and go ahead and give them the right-of-way. A lot of times it can be harder for the bikers to stop because they're moving at a higher rate of speed and uh, it just makes the flow of traffic go a lot easier. So be mindful, keep an eye out, and know that at Comey and at Hooper that mountain bikers do have the right of way here. Another thing that I want you to think about while you're out on the trails is people love to listen to music while they're hiking or biking. So if you like to use something fancy like these AirPods here or earbuds, uh, make sure you only have one in your ear and that way you can hear people coming on the trails and you can be more cognizant of what's going on around you. Uh, we do see some accidents happen from time to time where people are listening to music, enjoying themselves riding. They don't hear somebody coming around the corner and then we have a collision and that's bad for multiple people involved. So if you are gonna to listen to music with headphones, we ask that you keep just one in the ear, keep the other ear open so you can hear what's going on around you. On that same note of music, uh, different people come to the trails for different reasons. Some people like to come out for exercise and an exciting, adventurous experience. Other people come out here to reconnect with nature. Uh, so we ask that if you are gonna be listening to music, do use that one headphone method as opposed to blaring your music out loud over a speaker because not everybody necessarily wants to listen to the same thing. Different people are coming out here for different reasons. You guys can listen in the background. We have a bunch of beautiful birds singing right now and some people come out here for the serenity and uh, you know for the peace as opposed to the exercise and the adventure. Another thing I wanted to mention you guys is leave no trace ethics. So one of the, the cornerstones of leave no trace is we leave nothing but footprints when we come on the trails. Uh, so when you're coming out, make sure that if you're packing it in, you're packing it out. So if you're bringing uh, you know, a soda or something with you on the trail or Gatorade, that that bottle comes back out with you and goes into the trash when you leave the trail system. That being said, if you're going to be a good steward of our conservation areas and our trails, if you see a piece of trash on the trail, pick it up, take it out with you, and that, that helps keep our trails beautiful and in good shape. On that same note, uh, we have a lot of rain here in South Louisiana, and as you might be able to see, the trail's a little wet behind me, so if you encounter a muddy section of trail, uh, we just had some rain this last weekend, so those do exist, make sure to go ahead and dismount from your bike or hike around that rather than going through it. Because what happens when we, we rut that trail out or we, we, we walk through it, that creates a divot which increases erosion and it makes it harder for our staff to properly maintain the trails over the long run. So if you can, Go around those muddy spots, that'll allow the trail to re-dry, uh, and that way we're not causing major erosion, which is harder for us to fix, and uh, we spend more time fixing that than doing proper maintenance on the trail. 